Welcome back to the Mike Leaf Show right here on the Warrior Sports Network. I'm joined now by sophomore guard Josh Mongan. Josh, thanks for joining us, first of all. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, uh, your season got cut short earlier this year. Second game of the season went down with a, a knee injury, so it's been kind of a rehab process for you the rest of the year. What's, how's, how's that process went so far? Uh, it's been really tough. This is my first significant injury. I've sprained ankles and stuff before, but, uh, yeah, it's been really tough watching the games. Mm -hmm. Just, I mean, you don't hear it a lot, but I'd rather be practicing. Just sitting and watching it is really tough. Um, it's a long process, six months, but we've gotten through almost two months now, so we'll get there eventually. Mm -hmm. You mentioned sitting and watching, but that kind of allows you also to be kind of a, a mentor now, or as you've had experience on the floor, kind of a kind of an assistant coaching role almost. So uh, when you're at home and watching the team on the floor, have you kind of taken on that role? Yeah, uh, first coach definitely asked me to stay active, still be part of this team. They still love you, and uh, they've done a great job um, keeping me in the loop and everything. And I've definitely tried to help as much as I can. Um, that's just kind of who I am, being a point guard and all, just trying to help people get them in the right spot and. We do have a lot of new faces this year, and with the red shirts, been trying to help them too. So uh, it's been a growing process. Mm -hmm. Obviously, a little bit of a tough year for your team. Now, not being on the court, uh, being able to watch from the sidelines. You know, how do you kind of gauge how the seasons went so far? Uh, I won't put it lightly. <laughs> it's definitely been a disappointing year. Yeah. Um, I don't think a lot of people, ourselves, fans included, saw nine and nine right now. Um, I mean, saying that, we can still get a lot better. I mean, it's college basketball, and like Coach said, there's a lot of parity. Uh, we can play spoiler. We always have that chance with the conference right. tournament looking down mm -hmm. the road. Um, yeah, it hasn't quite gone as planned, but uh, Coach does a great job of keeping us positive, getting better each week, and just seeing what happens. <laughs> How do players kind of stay positive in a season where it's not kind of what you expected? You mentioned the conference tournament where you know, everybody makes it and then anything can happen, win four games in a row, and hey, you're in. But how does a team, you know, especially when you're so used to, to winning all the time, how do you kind of you know, go get through a 500 season like you've had so far? Uh, well, it's definitely a mental thing. Um, just trying to stay as positive as you can. Um, getting negative will definitely bring the team down. Um, I think maybe trying to look for that signature win. We've got a lot of tough games coming up, so if we can get one of them and just get maybe a streak going. But uh, you just got to remember how good we can be. I mean, if you look at last year, we returned a lot from last mm -hmm. year and saw how good we did then. So I think the team knows that we definitely have it. It's just a matter of just kind of getting out of the funk and uh, mentally just staying positive. Talk to Coach Leaf about this. He couldn't really put his finger on it. But, uh, you, you know, a 9-2 and two record at home this year, 0-7 on the road, you know, you've been on the road in the NSIC. Can you kind of explain that at all, why a team can play so good in McCown and then go on the road and struggle a little bit? Um, like Coach said, I think teams get a comfort zone at home, and that's definitely not just us, obviously. Mm -hmm. I think every team can find a comfort at home. You don't have to travel. You can just stay at home, do your daily routine. So, And you've been shooting in that gym for your whole college right. career. So I think you're used to that, but definitely being 0-7 is no excuse. you got to and then as I see, you got to win your home games and snag a few on the road because it is a very tough conference. Right. But, yeah, I, the 0-7 <laughs> is tough to explain. Yeah. But uh, it's never easy to win on the road, so hopefully we can get a few coming up here. And you mentioned two games at home now, and then you head back on the road. But now from here to the rest of the season, um, you know, kind of looking at the team, where do you think is the you know, easiest way to improve and where do you think they have you know, the biggest potential of improving from here on out? Um... We always iterate defense, mm -hmm. and I think more than ever this year, our offense has been spotty at times, being one of the lower scoring teams in the conference, but saying that, you can always have your defense. So even if we can win 55 to 53 games, I mean, a win's a win, especially in this conference. So I think just communication, coach reiterates that a lot, uh, communicating more on defense and also shooting the ball. We've had a poor year shooting, mm -hmm. so... Conrad's been starting to heat up. We can get Riley and Tim, great shooters. Um, I mean, they've been in the gym, so now it's just knocking them down in the game. So if we can do that, I think we'll take a big step forward. All right, sounds good. Well, hopefully you and the Warriors can do and kind of take that step forward then and, you know, make that push toward the conference tournament, and then anything can happen. And then yeah. for you, hopefully you can get healthy, and then we'll see you back on the court next year. So yep. thanks for joining us. Thank you. And we'll be back later in the week as uh, Coach Leaf joins us and talks about a pair of home matchups this weekend against Bemidji State and Minnesota Crookston right here on the Mike Leaf Show.